It's as if I went to sleep for a year, and when I woke up, the world's fallen apart. Sometimes, you've got to listen to ASMR videos to fall asleep. And Jon Snow, I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to read stuff off of the internet. What are you doing here, Sam? In the morning of my 18th name day, my father came to me. You're almost a man now, he said, but you're not worthy of my land and title. Tomorrow, you're going to take the black, forsake all claim to your inheritance, and start north. If you do not, he said, then we'll have a hunt, and somewhere in these woods your horse will stumble, and you'll be thrown from your saddle to die, or so I'll tell your mother. Nothing would please me more. Sir Alice is going to make a fight again tomorrow, isn't he? Oh wait, that was Sam's line. Yes, he is. I'm not going to get any better, you know. Well, you can't get any worse. I know for a fact that some of the officers go to that Bothan and Moles town. I wouldn't doubt it. Don't you think it's a little bit unfair? Making us take our vows while they sneak off for a little Sally on the side. Sally on the side? Silly, isn't it? What, we can't defend the wall unless we're celibate? It's absurd. I didn't think you'd be so upset about it. Why not? Because I'm fat? No. No. As a matter of fact, I'm the same as you. I came very close once. I was alone in a room with a naked girl. But I know where to put it. She was young and gorgeous. A whore named Ross. Red hair. You don't want to know. Better. What's my name? Why is my surname Snow? I never met my mother. My father wouldn't even tell me her name. I don't know if she's living or dead. I don't know if she's a noble woman, or a fisherman's wife, or a whore. So I sat there in the brothel as Ross took off her clothes, but I couldn't do it. Because all I could think was, what if I got her pregnant, and if she had a child, another bastard named Snow. It's not a good life for a child. Hush, don't talk. We'll go back there. Hi. you should have. Why do you read so much? Look at me and tell me what you see. Is this a trick? What you see is a dwarf. If I had been born a peasant, they might have left me out in the woods to die. Alas, I was born a Lannister of Casterly Rock. Things are expected of me. My father was the hand of the king for twenty years. Until your brother killed that king? Yes. Until my 
brother killed him. Life is full of these little ironies. We've guarded the kingdoms for 8,000 years. Is it we already? You're taking your vows then. Soon enough. Give my regards to the Night's Watch. I'm sure it would be thrilling to serve in such an elite force. And not. It's only for life. I think so. Hold off and burn in my body for now. going to read a conversation between Egret and Jon Snow as as myself because she's dead obviously so I'm just going to draw from my memory and say what she said and what I said here sit down brought a pair for you they're too big for you but they're good we kill for someone for them. No, I didn't kill them. But I bet his balls are still bruised. He wasn't good to me the way you're good to me. I didn't do that thing you do with your tongue. Yeah, can we not talk about that here? Can we not talk about that here? Oh, I'm Jon Snow. I've killed dead men in Coronafan, but I'm scared of naked girls. I seemed scared the other day. You were trembling like a leaf. Only in the beginning. Only in the beginning. You're a proper lover, Jon Snow. And don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? Do you think I'm as dumb as all those girls in sick silk dresses you use? didn't stop being a crow the day you walked into Mount Serenar's tent. But I'm your woman now, Jon Snow. You're going to be loyal to your woman. The Night's Watch don't care if you live or die. Mount Serenar don't care if I live or die. We're just soldiers in their armies, and there's plenty more to carry on if we go down. But it's you and me that matters to me and you. Don't ever betray me. I won't. Because I caught your pretty cock right off and wear it wear around my neck. My voice is fucking sore. Fucking sore, sorry. I've got to um, give it a bit of um, a refresher. I'm speaking in a fucking London accent. I'm really fucking sorry. Stop get, I got away from the northern for a bit, so I'm, I'm going to take a, li- a little breather and come back, eh? Right, I'm back. It's as if I went to sleep for a year. And I walk. The whole world's falling apart. I heard it was best to keep your enemies close. Whoever said that didn't have many enemies. Lord Janus, I'm giving you command of Greyguard. Greyguard is a ruin. 
Yes, the fort is in a sorry, sorry state. Restore it as best you can. First build yard we can spare ten. I was charged with the defence of King's Landing when you were still soiling your swaddling clothes. Keep your ruin. All right, all right, that's enough of that. You mistake me, my lord. That was a command, not an offer. Pack your arms and armour, say your farewells, and ride for Greyguard. I will not go off to meekly freeze and die. Give it to one of the fools or cast a stone for you. I will not have it. Do you hear me, boy? I will not have it. Are you refusing to obey my order? You can take your order and stick it up your bastard ass. Take Lord Janus outside, or they bring me my sword. Thousands of men don't need to die. Only one of us. They send us the old way. You against me. You suggested one-on-one -on -one combat. I've changed my mind. I think that's a lovely idea. Really? Well, then four can do it then. I will. Now, now, boys and girls, you don't need to do such a thing. Why don't you just take a neutral side, like I do? Lord Varys. Yes, I suggest you take his advice. Why don't you just go become Irish like me? In the beginning when your voice used to be, and your accent used to be more RP when you were in King's Landing. Yes. Six times. In the last thousand years, the king beyond the walls attacked kingdoms. Six times they failed. Every boy in the north knows it. We grew up learning it, where the battles were fought, the name of the heroes, who died where. Six times you've invaded and six times you've failed. The seventh will be the same. You don't have the discipline. You don't have the training. Your army is no army. You don't know how to fight together. I know it. If you attack to war, you'll die. All of you. Tell me, did you ever wonder why the men of the night's watch take no wives and father no children? No. So they will not love. Love is the death of duty. If the day should ever come when your Lord Father was forced to choose between honour on the one hand and those he loves on the other, what would he do? He... He would do whatever was right. No matter what. The Lord Stark is one man in ten thousand. Most of us are not so strong. What is honour compared to a woman's love? And what is duty against the feel of a newborn son in your arms? 
or a brother's smile. Sam told you, we're all human. All we all do our duty when there's no cost to it. Honor comes easy then. Yet sooner or later in every man's life there comes a day when it's not easy. A day when he must choose. And this is my day. Is that what you were saying? Oh, it hurts, boy. Oh, yes, I know. You do not know. No one knows. I may be a bastard, but he is my father and Rob is my brother. For fuck's sake, man. My voice is fucking sore. You know, I think that I had a much better Jon Snow impression before I started practicing for this recording. You know, and then I started watching videos and reading quotes and, you know, practicing to make this recording. And now I'm finally making this recording. I think their impression from the get go is not as good, and especially now it's probably much worse because it really fucking kills your voice, man. I don't know if I can fucking do this anymore. I, I mean, so I, I don't, I don't. I don't, um, it's just really fucking difficult to do, you know. I, I've, I haven't had any voice training in terms of, you know, imitating people or anything like that. I haven't any had, had any voice training for character work or anything. That's, that's all me. That's all my natural talent, you know. My natural abilities and working, my natural working and everything. Our giants went into your tunnel and never came out again. A letter for the Lord Commander. I'm not the Lord Commander anymore. To the traitor and bastard Jon Snow, you allow thousands of wildlings past the war. You have betrayed your own kind. You have betrayed the North. Winterfell is mine, bastard, come and say. Your brother Rickon is in my dungeon. His direwolf skin is, in my f is on my floor. Come and say. I want my bride back. Send her to me, bastard, and I won't trouble you or your wildling lovers. Keep her from me and I will ride north and slaughter every wildling, man, woman and babe living under your protection. You will watch as I skin them living. You... Go on. It's more of the same. You will watch as my soldiers take turns raping your sister. You will watch as my dogs devour your wild little brother. Then I will spoon your eyes from their sockets and let my dogs do the rest. Come and say, Ramsay Bolton, Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. To the traitor and bastard Jon Snow. Mm. Father, lovely evening. It's been a, lo it's been a lovely evening, Father. Lovely to meet you, Mother. To the traitor and bastard lord, Jon Snow, you allowed thousands of wildlings past the wall. You have betrayed your own kind. You have betrayed the North. Winterfell is mine, bastard. Come and see. Your brother Rickon is in my dungeon. His direwolf skin is on my floor. Come and see. I want my bride back. Send her to me, bastard, and I won't trouble you or your wildling lovers. Keep her from me, and I will ride north and slaughter every wildling, man, woman and babe living under your protection. You will watch as I skin them living. You...
can't do this anymore. I don't have the fucking voice anymore. Fucking hell. Do you realize the pain that I go through for you? For you viewers of my channel, for you subscribers, for you followers. ASMR Genie. It's who I am. You know, I didn't have a choice. You always knew who I was, what I am. I have to go home now. I know you won't hurt me. I do know some things. I know I love you. I know you love me. I have to go home now. 